The $500 million jet. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. When people are just a little bit rich travel, they fly first class. When you're really rich, you rent a private jet. When you're insanely rich, you fly on your very own private jet with your name painted on the wings. When you're a multi-billionaire Saudi prince, you fly in a mind-blowingly lavish $500 million customized Airbus A380. Recently, it was revealed that Saudi prince Alawid bin Tatel, who also has a net worth of $18 billion, purchased a $300 million Airbus A380 and is spending an additional $200 million remodeling the plane into a flying palace that makes Air Force One look like a huge piece of junk. Prince Alawid bin Talal is one of the wealthiest people in the Arab world. Thanks to thousands of extremely shrewd investments, the prince was able to turn a modest fortune into more than $18 billion. Through his investment firm Kingdom Holding, Prince Alawid has brought up large stakes in companies like News Corp, Apple, Citigroup, Twitter, and more. He owns luxury hotels like the Savoy in London, the Fairmont in San Francisco, the Plaza in New York, and the Four Seasons. He owns several yachts, more than 200 cars, and three incredible palaces that cover a combined 5 million square feet. When Prince Alawid takes delivery in his $500 million Airbus, it'll be one of his four massive private jets. It will also be the largest and most expensive private plane in the world. In early 2007, reports began circulating that some extreme rich person had commissioned a private variant of Airbus's then newly introduced A380 airliner. A starting cost of $300 million, the double-decker jumbo jet, still the world's largest passenger jet, can accommodate 853 passengers and commercial geese, but the buyer, who was later revealed as Saudi Arabian royal prince Alawid bin Talal, was said to have spent an additional $100 million to $150 million to outfit the plane to his high standards and transport no more than 100 people. But now the prince has apparently sold the plane before it ever took flight to an unnamed billionaire desperate to skip the waiting list for the world's largest private jet. Prince Alawid tapped interior designer Adiz Doret, a private jet and a mega yacht specialist, to transform the interiors into an airborne palace. The process started simply at least by these standards. Doret designed a 14-seat dining table for the prince and his guests, complete with cushy chrome chairs and a glass chandelier, all rendered in soothing neutral tones. Adjacent to the dining area, a lounge area boasting three sofas, a pair of chairs, a shiny coffee table, and four rather hideous light fixtures, as if guests weren't impressed enough already by half a billion dollar private jet, there's an illuminated nook in the divider to hold a scale model of the owner's absurdly large motor yacht. A huge flat screen television mounted on the wall opposite to the ship model provides more pedestrian entertainment. If the upgrades mentioned so far are banal by private jet standards and are hardly worth $150 million, this is where things get crazy. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, the record-breaking jet will have the world's first elevator in the sky providing access to the plane's three levels in flight, as well as extending all the way down to the tarmac when parked for easy VIP egress. Durette had been planning to include a Whirlpool tub on the design, one with a rapid draining system that can empty the standing water in seconds to the tank in the cargo hold, but Airbus refused to include a swimming pool on board. What is reportedly making the cut as a special magic carpet room on the lowest level, which is outfitted with a transparent floor providing astounding views of the countryside from cruising altitudes. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss an amazing video from us.